Okay, we're going to do a little PCI pass-through stunt here. We're going to see just how many video cards we can jam in one box and pass a VM to each of those. We're using an ASRock X58 Extreme system board with an i7 in it. It's got five PCIe slots, two of which are 1X, and it's got two PCI slots. We've got a collection of video cards from my junk pile. We've got an Radeon HD 4650. We've got a Quadro 1800. We've got a HD 6450. We've got a GeForce FX 5200. We've got a HD 6450. Another HD 6450. An HD 4650. Another HD 6450. Another HD 4650. And another FX 5200 and this is a PCI card as well as this one we're putting them all in this box here that I have another one of these system boards installed in we've got 16 gigs of RAM populated in there we've got a 500 gig hard drive for the VMs a 2 gig SSD that it boots from with ESXi 6.0 U1 installed and it's customized to support the Realtek NIC it's on this system board okay got a water cooler here that saves on a space a little bit and we're gonna try and jam all of these video cards in this box so let's start with this 4650 as you can see it's a 16x so we're gonna use this adapter here this is a 1x to 16x adapter that just fits on the card and we put it in the bottom slot here. Okay. Now that's not actually the first slot. The first slot that will be the primary graphics adapter is this one. And in here we're putting this quadro. Okay. The next one we get is this one, which also requires this adapter. So we're going to put that adapter on there and put that right in here. Now we get the FX5200 goes in here. This happens to enjoy a full size slot. not so easy to get that in there without putting my head in front of the camera and now see it looks like we're running out of slots and we've got all these video cards left so what we're going to use I've got a PCIe switch it's got a 4x connector on the bottom and four PCIe 16 slots we're going to put this right angle adapter on here just to get them all facing the same way. And we're going to put this in the top slot. Like that. We're going to use a C-clamp to hold it up. In addition to the screw we put in. And we're going to put these screws in here. And now we can put the rest of our cards in here. The FX 5200 goes in this PCI slot. Let's double check this one here. There we go. And now these go in 
here. So like this. 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 And that. Okay. <laughs> this board requires Molex power. And we plug in our display port adapter here. And fire it up. Now, we don't want to boot yet. We want to look at the BIOS here, probably. So let's do that. So I'll show you what I had to modify in here. It's not a lot. Under CPU, you need the execute disable bit set. Under chipset, I set the primary GPU to PCI Express. I disable the onboard HD audio since I can't pass it through anyway. And I've got VTD enabled. All right, we're booting from the 2 gig SSD and we're done. So ESX is coming up now. Now you're going to see that this freezes at the point in which we assign devices for pass-through. So you can see it gets to here and it's stuck. Okay? That's because we stole the GPU. So now I'm going in here on this laptop to the VI client. It ain't quite ready yet. It should be ready momentarily. here let's take a look at all this stuff I got passed through here I, I pre-configured this obviously we've got a whole lot of stuff here we're gonna go over here we're gonna fire up the VM for the Quadro 1800.
So we've got an Android VM running. Now you see here I've got a number of VMs built. And in the interest of making this video move along smoothly, I'm going to pause it here and fire up the rest of those and show all of them working. So we're going to pause here for now. Okay, we're back. We our Android VM running here. Seems to be working pretty good. While we have the display port connector plugged in there, let's go through all the cards that are using display port here. And we've got uh, Windows 7 on device B.00 coming out of here. And we're going to move it over to this one which is going to be E.00 right there coming out of this end one now we're done with the display port cards and we're moving to HDMI and now we're going to start with this one here and we got another Windows 7 C.00 coming out of here. Now we just move that over to here. And we should have another Windows 7 coming out of D.00. Right here. Now we've got another right here. This will be another Windows 7. This is coming out of 8.00. Right here. And now we've got another Windows 7. We got a 2.00. Down here. Now we're done with these HDMIs. And we're going to move to VGA. And we've got a, an XP here. Now let me zoom in on this for you. See if I can show you this. Got two NVIDIA GeForce FX 5200s. And I've got VMware Workstation installed on here. Uh, nested. So this is uh, not identifying itself as a VM is what allows me to install that in there and when this XP is finished installing it'll be on the second monitor so that's how we achieve 10 monitor 10 GPUs pass through with one box with that trick so now we go to the last VGA system and we have a Mac running. Let's see if I can uh, do something here with this. So there we have it. We got 10 machines, 10 VMs, 10 GPUs, all out of one box, and all out of the junk pile. And Thanks for watching.